I hear what I'm saying, yeah. Juice or Ducati here bringing you guys another video. So let's chat about Ice Spice. One thing I really want to chat about is how similar she looks to Central C. A lot of people have been commenting on my videos and I'm here to say there's no coincidences in this life. Trust your gut to intuition. If something seems bookie to you, then it's bookie. Anything's possible in this simulation, guys. This simulation that we call reality. Listen, one thing I'd say is that cloning, having people who look alike, it's a thing in a business. It's always been a thing. So it makes sense to why she looks exactly like my man. Just after they've been in the celebrity thing together. Guys, the industry's always been like this. Since the beginning of time, I Spice and Sench, they are part of the same thing. Their souls probably interlinked, but it's the same human model they've got designed. I'm starting to wonder if these celebrities are even real. They just seem possessed and MK altered off. And you can tell depending on how much the establishment pushes certain agendas, certain industry plants to the forefront of our attention at the end of the day. Anything's possible in this reality, guys. And the thing is, yeah, after it's said and done, Ice Spice is going to get disposed of. Sench is going to get disposed of. And then there's going to be a next next thing to get churned out by the industry. And hear what I'm saying, yeah? Why are you doing that pose, though? Like... This Ice Spice girl, every time she's always doing some next thing, twerking, doing some poses, all that, man. They're trying to push low vibrational females to your attention, guys. No one cares about Ice Spice. No one cared about her back then. She's an industry plant. We're just forced to care about her. That's all that's pushed into the algorithm. You fool me? I don't care about Ice Spice, but yeah, we're all forced to care about these weird looking they look like trolls and that. She looks like a Guyanese kind. She looks like a Guyanese guy, man, from this is Shepherd's Bush. But hear what I'm saying, man. We're just forced to care about these random celebrities, random influencers, because this is how the Matrix patterns it. Listen, guys. Central C, he's part of the Matrix. Ice Spice, part of the Matrix. All these rappers. Ice Spice ain't like that. She's not a fuck. She, look at her. She's forcing it, man. It's just a workout video. You're supposed to work out. You're supposed to do your exercise and that. Why is she forcing it? She's forcing the little cat pose, the little arch your back thing. She's forcing it so that young girls can watch this and think that's how a woman behaves. A woman, a real woman twerks on stage and doesn't even look like she's into it, but she just twerks. You get me? These lot, yeah, they're trying to normalize the pum pum spread, spreading your pum pum. So then if I have a daughter and I raise her in the West, and she's going to have some pineapple hairdo. The thing is, yeah, if you're a man criticising a woman over Ozempic, BBLs, whatever, then you got to reconsider your priorities because that's just mad. Some sassy man, I like that. Sassy. Oh, yeah, you got a nose job. Nah, sassy. I don't care about what a girl's doing. She can have 20 BBLs. She can have a nose job. She can have lips, you know, suction, all that. I don't care, man. I don't care because I'm focused on a grind. I'm focused on paying off my things, man. I'm, I'm focused on getting that Ducati. I want to get the Ducati. I'm, I want to get the rent paid off, everything, man. This is what they want for the young girl, then, man. They want the girls to see her as a role model, man. That's dead. That's dead. I'm not raising my daughter to look like some next... I don't even know what she looks like because she looks like some Costa Rican auntie or something. Come on, guys. Let's be strong. Uh, that's why I'm telling you, man. It, it's, it's time to leave the West and that. Go get some cows abroad or something because... Like, these lot, they, they have man inspired. Guys, I don't care. If I ever become famous, I will never go anywhere near Ice Spice. I will never go anywhere near Central Sea. The thing is, guys, be happy with 10k a month. Be happy with 20k a month. That's when, after, I'd say, like, 50k a month or certain, if you're in the entertainment business, yeah, then get out because you're going to end up having man knock on your door. Next thing you know, you have to chill with Ice Spice. The thing is, yeah, Ice Spice was a handler for Sench. She was a handler. All these men. One thing that I've noticed, yeah, like all these guys that come into the industry, they've all been in it from young, 13 years old, 14 years old. Central C, I saw him rapping 15 years old. I spy, she was probably on it from young because the thing is, yeah, Central C, he, this guy's not human. He's not a human being no more. MK Ultra. I spy, MK Ultra off. These celebrity couples, yeah, they're all fixed. They're all marketing things. But you hear what I'm saying, man? I don't believe that these lot are even human beings anymore. These lot cloned. They have their same model. They, the thing is, guys, it's right in front of your face. The elites, they don't even try to hide it anymore. They make these lot look exactly the same. There's a reason why they look exactly the same because it's all like an elite brainwashing. Psyop, these lot are actors in a matrix. 
me to brainwash you all. Listen, guys, I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't make it in entertainment, in an entertainment business. I'm here to tell you that you should make 10K a month, 20K a month, and then after that, you should um, plan your escape because in case someone comes knocking on the door asking for you to sign a certain contract and get that pattern, so then you give up your batty or you give up your friends because your friend gets sacrificed or your batty gets done out and teared apart by some a and because there's a lot of Michael Diddy's out there. The thing is, Diddy, he's not even at the top of it. The boule, the boule do all their thing with Diddy, you get me? He is at near the top, but he's not really at the top. Once you know about power and all that, it's all a pyramid scheme. It's all an industry pyramid scheme. I Spice, yeah, she's not at the top. She's part of the pyramid scheme and she's bringing in new girl, all these lot. Let's say Glorilla, all these lot, chilling with Biden, going around Biden, Central C. He's doing his thing, going around all these big artists. It's a big pyramid scheme, guys. I'm not here to tell you, man, that it's okay to work a 95, but I'm here to tell you, man, that it's better to work a 95 than to be a batty man or like some road man, road you on road. And I'm not here to tell you, man, oh, yeah, just work for the rest of your life. And uh, no, nah, it's not about that, man. But the 95 thing is one step above. I actually do believe working the 95 is better than being one of these celebrities because at least you still have your soul. At least you haven't sacrificed your mom to uh, no one like Kanye. Get yourself a high tier 95, you feel me? And the thing is, yeah, a lot of people all oh, go corporate, become an accountant, do all this. If you want to do that, but the thing is, I can't really go corporate because whenever I go corporate, uh, the thing is, they don't really accept masculine men. And me personally, I'm a masculine man. Me personally, I'm very outspoken, very confident, very loud. If I see something going down that I don't like, I'd be on it. I'd call everyone out. And the thing is, these office workplaces, they don't like that. They, they don't like that in a man. So I can't really tell you, man, get the high tier 95 and all that. If you might want to do that, then cool. But all I'm saying is hustle, get your bag. Hustle, get your bag, side hustles, nine to five, work in Tesco, whatever it takes, man. But whatever you're doing, because at least you're not selling your soul or giving your body up. And I want you, man, to give a round of applause to yourself because you've gone through life so far and you haven't sold your soul and your body is still with intact. You feel me? And that's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. You, man, are already winning in life. You, man, are better than Central C because... Like, you don't have to sacrifice F dot. And if you're a woman watching this, if you're in a grind, if you're a housewife, whatever it is, yeah, I just want to give you a round of applause because at the end of the day, you're not ice spice and you don't have to go throw it back on the video like her. You don't have to do these cat poses like some dirty girl. You get me? I respect you a lot more than these nasty, nitty, Costa Rican auntie looking yats. And hear what I'm saying, man. Go hard, go hard in your hustle. Go keep striving for more and keep the ball rolling because you, man, should never give up on life and that. Because at least you're not putting weird doo doo pl plaits on your hair and that. And that's what Sench is doing now because he's begging it. And I Spice, she's begging it as well, doing all this extra stuff because a real feminine woman, she's securing herself and she don't have to wear no booty shorts to the gym and post a workout video to prove that she doesn't have Ozempic. And hear what I'm saying, man. I love you all. Thank you for everything, guys. 15k subscribers on the road to 20k. I love you all. I'm out. Bang!